Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Life with Spike. I'm getting a little bored sitting around waiting for this part for my van. So I ordered a uh, front hitch mount so that I can bring my bike with me because I got a little gut going on. There's no way I don't want to leave without my bike. So hopefully it's here today or tomorrow. And once it's here, we can head off and go out in the bush and start playing. Because getting everything ready today. I cleaned up the chainsaw, ordered a new chainsaw filter and spark plugs. So hopefully that'll be here tomorrow. And if it is, I'm bringing that with me. I'll change the spark plug when I'm out there. But today I decided, well, we got a little bit of time and everything's checked off on my list of stuff I need to get done before I leave the family house. And now we're headed out to Sugar Lake. So we had some snow up on the mountain passes. So that's when I decided that's probably a good sign that we should go up to the mountain pass island lake, which is in uh, Coquihalla in between Kelowna and Merritt. And it is 4,800 feet above sea level. So that's going to get very cold very quick. So two weeks, I think they said it was going to drop down to like 8 degrees, 7 degrees. So I'm afraid if there's going to be another cold spell, you could potentially get snowed in. Um, usually it doesn't snow until like October, but uh, it is September in like three days. So we've got like over a month, but we've had this like really cold snap. But we should get some summer temperatures here before it's too late. But figured, why not go out and explore in my mom's pretty truck? <laughs> I love this truck. It's a little Ford Ranger. I wish it was four wheel drive, but that's all right. We got some good mud tires on there, so we're gonna go take advantage of them before we gotta take them off and put some winter tires on. And this thing's only seen a lot of pavement lately, so we're gonna go put it in the dirt and have some fun. I wish I had a little air compressor so I could air them down to you know 15 PSI or something like that, but pumping them back up to 35 would kill my air compressor so I just left that at home but we're gonna go have some fun anyways brought the chainsaw just in case brought the recovery gear just in case hopefully nothing goes wrong we're gonna go look down this road that I was told is very safe even for my van so I'm gonna go see whether they're right or not but it's an evac route from if you know one siren is on fire and one road is blocked, at least there's another way around the lake. So we're gonna go explore, maybe stop, dunk the lake. Maybe we'll go dunk our head in the lake. It's nice and warm today. We've got the air conditioner running. Just so I can talk on the video, because if I had the window open, you guys wouldn't hear me. <laughs> All right, let's hit the road. We'll see you guys around the next bed. Oh, there's a deer on the road. We're also tracking our route on Gaia GPS. So we can see how far we get. Just about coming up on the uh, fire balancer here.
smell it. Smell it in the air. Yeah, I, I kind of figured I should have brought the chainsaw. I'm kind of glad I did. trees. Really sucks going through this burnt area of Sugar Lake just because this is just a family location and I'm very happy that the firefighters were able to maintain this fire and it was able to be under control and we can continue on enjoying our family location camping for many years to come. There's the big hill climb. day such a nice day out here and most of the sites are pretty well empty that's crazy figured it would gonna be full up as if today because it's pretty much like the long weekend before school starts anyways looks like uh, number six it looks like is free which is kind of cool but we're not setting up camp here we're going to a different lake but maybe it'll be available next week. If not, we'll probably park at the other end over there. All right, let's take off and get out of here. and how empty it was because normally that place is completely packed. Um, one of the people that is at Hot Rock is leaving today and the other one that I've never ever camped at right on the lake is also number four. So I'm debating on what I want to do now. <laughs> But regardless, we're going to go out here and explore a little bit because I was told one of these roads leads to the other side of the lake. And if there's ever, I'm not even sure if I'm looking at the camera half the time, it would be nice to know which road is 
which and how how to get to the other side of the lake. Because if you're trapped on this side of the lake, there's no other way out. So if there's a fire, like there is right now, although it is under control right now, if it flares up, how do you get out? So we're right now, we're gonna go explore. We're gonna head down this road. It looks pretty well traveled. We'll see. It looks like there's fresh tracks. But that's why I'm down here in the truck, not the van. We'll explore, see what we can get into. see just over there right from the tip of my finger that's nine mile that's pretty cool I have been down this road but I haven't it was a dead end so let's go see if it's not a dead end anymore I think this is where it used to end I don't remember going up this far up the lake yeah, this looks fresh. I know exactly where I am. Okay, so if you're headed to Rainbow Falls, instead of turning left, you go right. And you just go up the Monashi Park, Provincial Park Road, and then you 
take a right and then you on to Coles Road and then you can get to Sugar Creek Campground. Very cool. Yeah, I'd love to stop at Rainbow Falls, but I'm kind of in a rush now to go back, get my hitch installed, and maybe come back out here. All right, let's see you guys around the next bend.